We got the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and a nice looking guy. I think the two party system, although my Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this, I think the two party system is good for the South and good for the Negro, good for the black in the South. Um, and uh, uh, other than the fact that they still call me boy, I don't think they've, I think they've changed their mind. <laughs> And thanks for joining me. I'm here. Uh, uh, the FEMA director is on. Uh, uh, FEMA director Chris Wells, she, she's on. And I'm here with, uh, with my senior advisor and uh, boy who knows Louisiana very, very well. Oh, man. And, and New Orleans uh, and uh, Cedric Richmond. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. The fully, I'm not joking. They're going to put you all back in chains. Have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not. What do you think, huh? Are you a junkie? What do you say to President Trump? If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. You see, geez, the reason I was able to stay sequestered in my home is because some black woman was able to stack the grocery shop. And by the way, what you all know, but most people don't know, unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah.